Hi everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, and in today's reformer workout, it's specifically geared for plantar fasciitis. However, even if you don't suffer from plantar fasciitis, but you have tight calves, or you're working to improve mobility, increase circulation in through the legs, this is gonna be a great workout. As most of you know, I am a big fan of full body workouts, so it's not just specifically geared towards the lower end of the body or the upper part of the body. So um, it's gonna still be a great workout uh, regardless. And I am working on a balanced body piece of equipment here, so I will make those recommended spring settings for those that are working on different models at home. And I will try my best, I know I've had, um, some recommendations on you know different models that you guys have at home and i'm going to try my best to specify whether it's light medium or heavy so that you can make those adjustments for yourself for those that are new welcome i have over 30 different apparatus workouts here on the channel so feel free to check those out and if you've been thinking about becoming a Pilates instructor or enhancing your Pilates practice, I'm a master trainer and I would be happy to talk more about how we can get you started in that type of program. And for those that have been thinking about opening up their own business, becoming a Pilates studio owner in your area, Function Pilates is a groundbreaking franchise registered in over 30 states, and I'd be happy to talk more about that with you as well. Everything's gonna be in that description box linked below, including some other recommended workouts here on the channel. So for those that are ready to get to working out, let's go ahead and begin. Before we get started, let's have a tennis ball handy along with a towel, just a small towel will be perfect, nothing too thick. And then also a yoga block or maybe a book or two that you can stack for that stretch when it comes time. So grab your tennis ball, find a space on the floor and placing your right foot on top of the tennis ball right in the middle of your arch here. Let's begin to slowly roll your foot across the tennis ball, really just to open up all of those muscles and get some blood flow going in the bottom of the foot here. So depending on where you're feeling this pain, whether if it's in the heel or the ball of the foot, obviously you're gonna want to avoid hitting that, but stay right in the very center. And so I'm gonna move around so you can see different angles here of how I am applying my foot on, rolling it. So I'm going to the side of the foot, working through the very center, and then also in the arch of the foot. Doing that for as long as it feels good for you. You guys can pick your pressure. And then just take a moment and stand still and notice the difference between each of your feet here. When you're ready, go ahead onto the other side, doing the very same thing. So some people like to say they feel a little bit more connected to the floor. And that's really just because we've elongated those muscles in the feet and stretched them out. So this is great to do sitting, watching TV, sitting at your desk. It doesn't take very long to do, and it just feels so nice to get that blood flow and movement and stretching through the foot here. Okay, so when you're ready, go ahead and set that ball off to the side. And we're gonna grab our towel and set that on the floor. It might be a little difficult on carpet, um, but just pick and choose where you wanna do this. So placing your foot on the towel, we're gonna begin to exercise our toes here. So think of gripping the towel and pulling it up. This might be easy for some of you, and this might be really challenging for others. So once you've done that a few times, you can also challenge yourself to pick up the towel and then drag the towel. Do that anywhere from five to 10 times, and then we can switch it to the other side. Again, we're exercising just grabbing the towel with our toes and think about each individual toe doing its job and purpose. Once you're ready, just go ahead and grab that towel and bring it towards you. So this is about strengthening all the metatarsals, all those digits of our toes and all the intrinsic muscles of our feet here. Finally, let's grab a hold of our yoga block or if you have a book or a couple books you wanna stack, you're gonna place all of your toes on top of the block. Heels are resting on the floor. Now, you're gonna feel a huge stretch in your, the back of your legs, in your calves specifically. 
Now think about standing up super tall here. Shoulders are back, chest is lifted, and really square out your hips. Think about pushing the back of your knees to the wall behind you. Stand up a little taller. Now this, this exercise, this drill can be done anywhere from 30 seconds all the way up to three minutes. And if you'd like to track your progression, that would be a great thing to do is track yourself up to three minutes and track yourself if you can balance without having to hold on to anything either. Once you're ready, go ahead and set that off to the side. And then we're gonna go ahead and begin with our footwork. So go ahead and place the footwork springs for you, whether that's medium springs or heavy springs. I'm gonna go ahead and take that to two reds, a green and a yellow, which is about three and a half springs here. And then we're gonna position right on those heel pockets, maybe above the heel, so not necessarily on the heel. Hip distance apart, pushing in and out. I'm flexing my feet here to really feel a deeper stretch there through the calves as well, and to stabilize through the ankles. So again, placing your feet properly on the foot bar in a position that feels gentle on your feet. You can move it to the arches of the feet as well. So I'm just gonna run through some different variations here and they may not all work for you. But again, these are options. But I am still hip distance apart. Focus on those knees, looking straight up at that ceiling, and then focus on that neutral spine. So all the natural curves of your spine here. Your arms are down long, your shoulders are away from those ears, and your chest is staying wide open. So let's take a Pilates V, first position. Heels together, toes apart. Staying on your heel pockets, staying on your arches. Think of hugging and squeezing those inner thighs together, really strengthening, really stabilizing through those hips. Exhale to press out and inhale to pull forward. Good, think of the back of your neck getting longer and really focusing in on your breath. Let's take it into a wide second position, a wide V. So keeping your knees in line with your shoulders here, again, really focusing on that stability of the pelvis. Taking that inhale and exhale out. And notice your ribs as you are inhaling, they're expanding wide. That breath is going in between those ribs into your back. And as you exhale, you're knitting your ribs together, knitting the corset, knitting that football gear. It's like a funnel. Again, we're gonna transfer it to either those heel pockets or the arches for another set here. And I keep it typically around 10 repetitions. If you'd like to add more, you'd like to add less, depending on how your body is feeling today, pick and choose what works best for you. Beautiful, really strong through those legs, very energetic through the legs. So here's a variation with toes on. We're gonna get a stretch through those heels Lighten up the springs here if you need to, because we're not trying to strengthen the calves. So if that feels like it's too strong on the calves, definitely lighten up that load. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and lighten up the springs, anywhere from a half spring, so a blue, or just one spring, a red. And why I am saying that is because, again, we don't want to strengthen the calves, but we're going to go for a nice, gentle prance, nice, gentle circulation through those ankles. So pick and choose either a half spring or a one spring. Lie yourself back down and then just gently have your toes, if that feels okay, or the arches of your feet and lower the heels under that foot bar super slow. 
Think about the back of the knees pushing towards the floor. If you tend to hyperextend, have a micro bend at that knee. But just focus on really lengthening out those ankles and the feet and the calves at a very comfortable pace for yourself here. Finding that rhythm that works best for you. And then maybe doing a single calf stretch here. So taking one foot, let's place that right foot under the foot bar, pull on it as you push with your left. Switch when you're ready. And these should feel really delightful on those calves here. From here, let's do some circular movement. So with the arches, with the toes, either one, start to lift your heels up together and separate as if you were making two individual circles here. So we're loosening up the ankles, especially if you have tight ankles. And we can do anywhere from five to 10 repetitions here if that feels nice for you. And then once you're ready, you can reverse that direction. You can do another single leg calf stretch if that feels good before you head into that direction. And then let's go ahead and bring it back in. Okay. So from here, we're gonna take it into a little bit of ab work. So we'll go into our short box series, which means placing all of your springs back on and make your strap available to you. For those that are taller, take that box over the headrest. So you have some distance there. And then place those feet underneath that strap and let's keep the feet flexed the entire time here. So try not to relax them, but really pull on that strap have a nice slight bend at the knee. Let's take our hands, cross them over our chest and take it into our round back. So you're gonna tuck that tailbone under, squeeze with those glutes and re-articulate the spine up to a sitting position. Inhale there, exhale to lower back, feel those ribs pulling together nice and strong as you restack the spine. Your belly button's coming close to your spine here. Your hips are grounded, squeeze with the glutes and restack up super tall. Relax with the shoulders. Focus on the stretching of your spine here, the strengthening of your core. Let's do that again. Keep those feet flexed, pushing that energy out from your heels, adding little pulses there if that feels good for you. Make them very small, minimal. Five to 10 repetitions. Feel that burn right in the center and exhale, restack all the way back up. Beautiful. Hands behind the head, nice and tall. Let's take that game of trust and fall back and return. So inhale to hinge from the hips, connect the ribs, exhale to return up. Try to avoid relying so much on the strap, but again, really focusing in on the, on the abs, those deep ab stabilizers. Beautiful. Take it back. Let's go ahead, return up. And as we fall back here, let's hold it for pulses. Connect those ribs, belly button is, squeeze through those glutes, you have it. Nice deep breath, and on your last one, return up. Arms out in front of you, let's go ahead and add rotation. So lift and rotate, leaning into it. Focus on your body being so heavy as you return through center. So inhale to reach, use your exhalation to return up. Feet are still flexed, very energized there through those legs. Inhale to rotate and reach, use your obliques to return up. Inhale and rotate. Beautiful work here, really opening up through that chest, add little pulse if that, that feels good for you. Think of reaching to the corner of the room. You got it, little pulses. Use your exhale and return back up. One more time on the other side, take it over and reach for the corner of the room. Pull those ribs in tighter, belly button to spine, shoulders are down, and then exhale, let's return all the way back up again. 
perfect. Let's take our feet out. Let's readjust our springs. I'm gonna take it to a half spring here, which is a blue. I have handles on, so if you have loops, I would um, recommend going a little higher in weight. Let's start with those palms up, elbows next to the ribs, and serve the tray. Take an exhale and extend those arms. So the hands are coming all the way up to where those shoulders are at. Think of sitting up super tall in this neutral spine and take it to your hug a tree. Exhaling to pull those fingertips together. Inhale to open. Beautiful. Let's combine everything. Good. So we're combining, serving the tray with our hug a tree. Inhale to pull those elbows in. Exhale to reach. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, return. You got it. Shoulders should be working. Abs are working. Those low back muscles are really focusing on strengthening your posture. And let's take it into shaving the head. So pitch your body forward, hinge at the hips, connect index finger with thumb over your head. Elbows are in space as you straighten your arms up to where the wall and the ceiling meet. Try not to move your elbows. Keep them in the very same place. You can feel the activation in your triceps. Beautiful. Again, anywhere from five to 10 repetitions, whatever is feeling good for you today. The goal is to maintain proper form. So even though you might be able to do more, is the form correct? So ask yourself those questions. Let's go ahead and take that foot bar up we're gonna go ahead and place it on two red springs or two full springs. And then we're gonna take our handles off, have our loops handy if they are not already on. Perfect. Good, and then once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and lie back down. Let's take our legs all the way through the loop so that they're above the knee. And that's why we have a little bit heavier springs on so that you can really feel the work here through the hips. From this position, let's go into frog. So heels together, toes apart play with them, make sure that those straps feel secure. And then same intention, as you extend the legs out straight, really activate through the inner thighs. The goal with the straps over the knees is to avoid any extra pressure there on the bottom of the feet. Beautiful. Exhale to push out and inhale to bend. Stabilizing through those hips as much as possible. Arms are long, palms are flat. Go parallel for our TikTok. Lower and lift. Make this work facilitate from the hips. Try not to throw or use momentum through those legs. Maybe flex those feet if that feels good. Beautiful. Again, very energetic through those legs. Think of that energy reaching out from the heels. Breathe. Beautiful. Exhale to press down. Let's separate those legs and pull them back together for our openings. So if it feels okay to point, otherwise flex those feet and continue to drag those legs together. Maybe you're dragging your heels together but visualize that your feet are on top of a table and they're sliding across the surface. Activate those inner thighs, really strengthening through our hips. Perfect, beautiful work. Bring it back up, let's add our circles. This movement's coming from the hips, so feel the hip socket open up. 
lengthening out of your hip socket. Nice. Abs are drawn in, helping to stabilize and keep the hips quiet. Here's another variation for your hip work. So you can soften at the knees and again facilitate that, that pattern from the hip socket. It's a nice way to change up our hip circles, especially when the straps are around our knees. Reverse when you're ready. Think of those feet kind of dipping into the well as you circle and massage the hip socket. Good. So again, finishing it with your reverse circles. This was just two different ways. You can add both variations in or you can pick and choose whether you would like your knees bent or keeping your legs straight. All right, carefully let's remove that loop. Find your foot bar right away, hanging up your straps on your pegs. And then from here, let's go ahead and take that headrest down since we're gonna add in some spinal articulation and we're gonna bridge. So again, find a comfortable spot on the foot bar with your feet, flex them, so pull those toes towards you. Exhale to squeeze your glutes, lift your hips up into bridge and then roll yourself back down again. Good. So if you have tight hamstrings have, and have tight calves in general, you can always lower the foot bar down. That's not a problem, because that is gonna make this a little bit more gentle, a little bit more comfortable approach than this higher angle. Good. Really draw that belly in, articulate through the spine. Let's go ahead and push on out, keep those hips lifted. Focus on squeezing your glutes there to keep your hips in this nice elevated position. Keep those toes pulling towards you, nice and flexed. Palms are down flat as you breathe. Let's bring it back home and roll ourselves all the way down. Beautiful work here. Good. So carefully exit off to the side. We're gonna come up all the way for elephant here. So you can lower the spring tension or you can keep it the same. If you have the ability to take your heels all the way up to the shoulder blocks, go ahead and do so. But if those hamstrings are telling you otherwise, you can step slightly forward in the center of the carriage. So a nice neutral spine or really flat back, hinge from your hips to push the carriage back, exhale to pull forward. I'm gonna lift my toes up here. So try that and see if that feels okay for you. Just so that, again, we're, when the toes are lifted, we're strengthening the feet. And we're also adding in that bonus stretch here too. Beautiful. And then let's go ahead and return in. Let's go ahead and sit down carefully. I'm taking it to one spring here and going into a monkey stretch. So go ahead and separate those feet nice and wide. Grab a hold of the foot bar, push those heels down, maybe pedal them and prance out gently. Think of dropping your chin a little bit just to keep your neck in line with your spine. Good, and just play with it. See what feels good for you. Taking your time as you stretch again through those hamstrings and calves. And the body is warmed up now, so maybe you're actually getting a deeper stretch than you were possibly in the beginning. And then add a different variation. So you can go narrow, where you're pulling your legs together, getting that nice gentle prance and stretch. If anyone has sciatica, I would definitely recommend avoiding this, this specific stretch, just because it will irritate the nerve and pull a little bit more through that sciatica nerve. 
All right, so from here, let's go ahead and stand up. We're going to take the foot bar down flat. And then we're going to stand in front of the foot bar. I still have just that one spring on. Let's take that comfortable position with your foot and make sure to adjust your body so that you're close to the foot bar to feel like you're getting the full range of motion here. Glance down at your left foot, make sure it's straight and parallel, not turned out or turned in. And then begin to press through with your right foot, your right leg. Nice deep breath here as you push out and return in. Good. So our goal is here to strengthen through the leg, through the thigh specifically, and a lot of hip strengthening here too. Careful not to allow your body to move forward but stay nice and tall. Once you've done your 10 repetitions, let's take it to the other side. Extending, keeping your foot flexed with those toes pulled towards you. Shoulders down. Beautiful. Navel to spine. Really processing the work that you're doing with control and discipline. And then bring it back down. Good, nice deep breath there. We're gonna roll ourselves down all the way, really pressing through. Just getting a nice stretch through the back of the legs and of course through the spine. So rounding into that cat stretch, pushing out into extension. Think of your tailbone lifting up towards the ceiling and make an effort to emphasize that scoop as you round up, like you're lifting with your abdominal muscles. Good, you're pressing with your back stretching those lats. Nice. Again, just exercising the stretch, the extension in your back, and also strengthening out through the core. So really scooping that belly as you emphasize the navel towards the spine here. Carefully roll yourself back up once you've hit anywhere from five to 10 repetitions there. Let's take that foot bar right back up again. And we're gonna go ahead and take it into our Eve's lunge. So again, anywhere from that a half spring, a full spring. So with the foot supported by the shoulder block here, Hips are squared. Keep the left leg straight as you go in for that hamstring stretch. Shoulders are down. And then take it all the way back out again. So just play with it. So important once again to keep the hips squared. Keeping your foot flat or if it doesn't bother your heel, you can lift your toes up. And then we're gonna just take it into mermaid since we're already on this side. So zigzag those legs, push away with your right hand as you stretch and open up the sides of your ribs here. It's like your body is becoming parallel to the floor. So exhale to reach up and over. If it feels good, add rotation today. So make sure that those hands are nice and wide on the foot bar. And then go ahead and soften those elbows to bend getting a little bit of tricep work, if that feels okay. Think of those elbows reaching to opposite sides of the room as we go for in about five of these. Good, 
feel free to add more if you like that. And then adding your extension, lifting that chest, opening up nice and wide. Beautiful. Again, it's about lengthening the spine, not how high you can come up. So if you start to notice your elbows are bending, then you've gone up too far. So that's a really great way to take note of your progression there too. So we'll take it to the other side. Left hand's on the foot bar. Let's go ahead and reach it up and over. Again, opening up the sides of the ribs. Exhale. Keep breathing, and when you're ready, you can add rotation, opening up those hands on that foot bar, dropping your chest towards the floor, and adding in our small push-ups here. For anyone who has shoulder injuries, again, this is technically overhead presses, so be very mindful of adding these in for your routine. Adding your extension, dropping your chest, and lifting. Beautiful. And carefully adjusting that left hand back through the center to return all the way up again. And then let's take it into our hamstring stretch. So again, left foot is supported by the shoulder block. Right foot's on the floor. Push out into a deep stretch, hips are squared. So think of that right hip going backwards, left hip going forward. If you noticed your knee is slightly bent, bring yourself forward a little more. I know it may feel like you wanna go out further into your splits, but you're gonna feel the stretch so much more if that knee is straight. Not hyperextension, but just in a straight position. Good. And then let's bring that back in. Beautiful. All right, let's finish it with our roll downs here, guys. So standing hip distance apart, roll it down. Nice and slow to restock the spine, just taking inventory of your body. Good, one more time here and breathe. Thank you again, guys, for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, and if you haven't already subscribed, feel free to subscribe. See you next time.